Welcome, guys. Nice to you. Yeah, it's Happy Friday. School, yeah. yeah, the famous, famous oh, four minutes. minus one. The five minus one. I know, bro, we'll be watching. Yeah, <laughs> possibly. Yeah, lucky for tuning in, guys. We've got a lucky, exciting two episodes coming. This is the first one. We're going to be doing so uh, flavorful uh, sauces. And um, Neville? Mm, Neville Govan there. And also, Tom will be having a chat with him just now. Uh, Join, subscribe, like our channel, please. And uh, we're the three main road, Irene guys. Second every floor, Friday. Come and see us every Friday. Have a chill. The next episode, you're definitely going to see our challenge box on the table as well. So Ooh, stay tuned. Watch out for that. That Drop, I'm excited. About. Drop us a mail for pre-orders. Maybe you can put a little video in as a free taster for the guys. I know yeah. there's one floating around. Maybe you can post it. Keep watching. Yeah, this is about one left. This guy's marketing has been amazing. Yeah, yeah, well, done. Yeah. well done. Pushing out of the. Yeah. And guys, our YouTube video. video, please go like, share, subscribe, like it again. Uh, share the notification so you know when the next video is out. So we can grow our channel a bit and eat more chilies and tell you about more exciting chilies. I think that's what it's about. And who are you? Oh, Flamers 4 today. <laughs> Let's go <right>. that side. <laughs> okay. Hi guys, I'm Isak from uh, Indesinal and from the Capskin Show. I'm Tim. I was going to fall down if I'm going to say bro, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do South Africa. Like Genius here, Sons of Fire, South African chapter. Robert here, nice. Crossroads, Arini. Come see us here every Friday. Lekker, we'll catch up with your access now and uh, chow some uh, sauces. Yeah, grab a dub. Let's go get Neville. Let's go then. Neville's coming. <laughs> see you guys Ooh. just now. Welcome guys, so we're doing a quick uh, chat to Mr. Neville here from Flavorful Sources for the Capsicum Show and we're going to find out a little bit more about what's happening, what's flavorful, what's cracking yeah. from his side. Neville, welcome. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. <laughs> Lekker. Tell us man, where did the journey begin? Well, it started about a year ago, amazingly, Okay. Uh, in Centurion, uh, that's where you're from. But prior to that, uh, a big fan of the sauces. Uh, I do a lot of events and always wanting to see what's it about. And uh, so I decided to, to take a try. And it's been an amazing journey so far. Okay. And I'm hoping it gets better. Definitely. How many sauces did you start out? Did you originally start out with six, or did you start with two and make it more? I start. I started with eight, uh, like the habaneros and the jalapenos. And then the mild, the mild, and the oil, mm -hmm. and then it started expanding. People uh, getting feedback from people, ask, uh, asking them what they're looking for and stuff like that. And then I started getting the using the fruits as well. Okay, so, so some of them are fruits. Yeah. yeah, some of them are fruits. Some of them just the plain ones. Um, so yeah. When you started out, were you chasing heat or were you chasing flavor or were you chasing a good mix of? I started off with the flavor. That's hence the name flavorful. Okay. Uh, so it was about that there, and uh, obviously, but the chili has a bit of ease in it, and then it just expanded. Then I started doing different stuff with the with the chili so. Okay. And the heat ratings, where's the lowest one at, more or less? I eat the, the jalapenos, just the jalapeno. I I I've, I've tried to push the heat on a little lower because uh, you get you get people coming to the events and asking, or even at the shops asking, hey, listen. Can we get something milder? Mm. Sometimes we'll be like, it's jalapenos, yeah. a milder sauce. So I've got some of there and then it goes up. No super hots right now. Okay. Uh, just the habaneros is the I just want to bring right now. So like a good general family sauce. Yeah. It? Okay. Yeah. Now that's interesting, man. Thanks for bringing these sauces for us to taste. No, no. Um, we look forward. There's some amazing colors from the yellows to the dark reds and the lighter reds. And there's a yellowy one there, the greeny one yeah. there. Ooh. Tell us about them. What is? What are the names? There's there's a uh, there's habanero with, with pineapple. There's with apple. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's the, the bishop's crown with pineapple. Okay. And there's I've got one with passion fruit as well. My mouth starting to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a very the, the, I find that the ones with the fruits are very popular. Very oh, very, very popular. Okay, no, that's great, man. Any case, thanks for coming. We're going to test these in our show. Oh wow! And nice. give you a nice little review there. 
from the colors and from what you're saying, I'm super keen to find out. Thank you so much and enjoy. And thanks, enjoy. For, thanks for joining oh, us. I appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, Cheers. guys. Thank you so much. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy yeah. Friday. That was a lack of uh, chat with the Nebula Yes, man. Mm. Interesting, interesting source guy. So let's get down to let's business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. So number uh, one, we're going to start down, with the uh, jalapeno and passion fruit. Oh, I've never seen a combo sense. like this. And it's green, Ooh. so that's interesting. Okay, well, let's all grab And it's some also, let, I mean, we're not going to, we don't want to re-save it. Uh, what did they say? It's got no preservative, preservative free. So that's also like... Mm. Yeah, most of the sauces we taste. One, two, three. Oh, it looks skinny, itsy bitsy, teeny weeny. Yeah, this is what happens when Bri Boy is not on the show anymore. Yeah, yeah. we miss him. Bri Boy, we miss you, yeah, buddy. Dude, yeah. where are you at? When, when Bri Boy is not here, we are served the party back. <laughs> party snack. Okay, it's good. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, you know, nice, uh, easy that, to open. Uh, oh, chocolate brand, which I saw. Very mention. interesting aroma here. Yeah. They've got those party packs with the small little versions. Ah, yeah. yeah, this is what we have today. Looks nice. good. Interesting consistency mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. It's a good try. It's like a nice one. Almost like a chocolate. How does it smell? It smells great. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Your reaction there says everything. My mouth almost started watering immediately. Like. Just from the smell. Pretty chutney. Oh, yes. No. I oh, know the, the, the oh, name of the sauce. My goodness. Mm. Fruity salad dressing. Oh my Flavorful. Mm. Flavorful Good. sauces. Yes, it's nice, huh? Don't mm. you have more of this? My man. More of these little snacks? Yeah, yeah. No, only for the next week's oh, episode. <laughs> oh, we'll get to the bad no, so next week. Keep it for week. That was nice. But we're going to make some booties we'll later. We have to make sure that bottle disappears. Yeah. A bishop's crown and the burn is also not bad on this one. No, for a green sauce, you can feel it's got a little bit of a thing. So, bishop's crown would definitely be a little bit up on the shot. Mm -hmm. um, bishop's crown is quite a, a warm mm. quite a warm pepper. That is a good sauce. Yeah. Again, uh, that's got good color. Similar but different mm. aromas. And the bite, um, it's just got to like a little linger in your mouth, mm. the first one. Top squeeze. That's Rather right. enjoyable. Mm. The color looks yeah. on. Yeah. It looks on like. If it was a sauce color competition, I'm it telling you. It tastes the color. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes like the Ooh. color, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh. Smells insane. My goodness. That is, oh, sorry. that is something else. No way. That is, mm. in, I'm stealing that bottle. They're not going anywhere, by the way. Huh? <laughs> exactly. no. Well, I'm taking this one. You have to come to our lunch here every day mm. if you want that sauce. This puppy no. stacks nicely, huh? It's got your name on it. Nice sauce. It's got your name on it, but it will be kept on the premises. No. <laughs> so we, we mm. promise we'll ask permission Yo, every time we use it on That's lunch. Definitely has nice a bit of a by five out of ten on the right team. You take the sauces number one. No, no, no. no. This what would you give the flavor of this? The that heat one. rating, what's your rating? It's got a nice heat rating, eh? It's it's up, eh? It's like in the three, fours, maybe. Mm, I can see if that's gonna work with pizza, so many dishes, that's why very true. And I think milk. you might even get a nice flavor if you mix those two mm. on the pizza. Your heat rating on that one? Like a two. Two. I'm the same too. Yeah, personal uh, four or five. I've uh, I've got to account for bribe boy, so we go with a five on that one. Definitely yeah. not a five. Mm, warm, bribe boy would have had that one probably a six. Yeah, somewhere. No, I there. think maybe a seven. Red up in there. Uh, Red up in are there. we leveling up now? Yeah. It says hot. These um these. Is that a level oh, up? Oh, well, but, what? Uh, but remember, the red habanero okay. is hotter than the normal orange habanero. Oh. No, this is so, the hottest uh, habanero. Don't sell that thing. Man, I've got some seeds here. Yeah. No, man, koi. Caribbean red habanero, if I'm not mistaken. 
Mm. That distinctive mm. flavour, huh? This is definitely a level up, eh? Mm. I don't know yet. I like the colour for, for mm. it being a red of the sauce. I would rate um, the previous one as hot than that. Yeah. But, um, good flavour. Mm. You know what you're tasting immediately, you know? get that distinctive. Well I'll done, never. And guys, um, for all the other sauce makers, make keep sending your sauces to us. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> and keep your mm. eye out on the shelves for our challenge box, guys. No mm. heat on this one for me, but an uh, intense mm. flavor. Of red habaneros. I can taste it's a red habanero. It does taste like a normal habanero. It's got that fruitiness of the red habanero. Mm. Or as I like to say, it's, it's got like an island fruity kind of taste, the, the red habanero by itself. One of the things he did say was is he wanted to have some of the taste of the of the chili in there. That's why I never it's mixed other peppers. That's it chili. perfectly. But that one. Even the bishop's crown. Oh, I wanna, oh, that one's out of it. it the bishop's crown is the warmest out of the lot, I would think. I, I like that one. It's 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 vacating with my uh, mm. Only after a week. We have to try a few other dishes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'll go try it at home. there? I'm looking forward. To I'm looking forward to the next episode and get tasting some more of these mm. sauces. Yeah, guys. We always fight on the show about sometimes about the sauces every now and then because we share it over here. But every now and then, it's nice to take one home and <laughs> they don't last long. Eh? Days, I think. In fact, no. So that's why you've got to come down to mm. the arena. Yes, come in. I mean, you've got a nice variety of sources here too, guys. Yes. One you guys for those that stay here, come and try them. There's a fridge full of sauces. Yep, every Friday, right my sometimes here, cook some wings, have some stuff going on, come and find out. Mm -hmm. oh, later. On that note, we'll catch you next week. Thanks for tuning in. Stay hot and healthy. Stay hot and healthy. Don't do crime, do chilies. Oh, well. So Neville, yes. the other thing that you wanted to tell us about was, tell us some interesting and I think important facts about these sauces as well. Okay, firstly there's no preservatives in the mm, sauces. That's awesome. Uh, if it's habanero, it's habanero, jalapeno is jalapeno. It is, uh, so you don't, what, what you're saying there is, is that you don't mix the different peppers into one sauce? No. It's either habanero or Okay, exactly, like that. exactly. Really then cool. you're going to get the flavor of the, the chili itself. As well. As well, that's that. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the only thing you'll find is a bit of uh, lemon juice in it, a bit of vinegar, but nothing, uh, no, no other preservatives or stuff like that. Okay, so if yeah. I'm not wrong, we, one would almost be able to call this a vegan sauce. Yeah, kind of. Somebody said the same thing, and yeah, you can, you can, because there's nothing... Animal-based. No, or... no, nothing like that. Nothing. Okay.